Getting Zscaler's high-resolution logs into Splunk has never been easier. With Zscaler and Splunk Cloud, logs and events flow directly from Zscaler into the Splunk Cloud with no additional logging pipelines to manage. Logs are delivered reliably and securely over HTTPS. Zscaler manages, monitors, and scales as needed to keep up with your volume of traffic and logs. So what's needed to get logs flowing into Splunk Cloud? Let's take a short tour. Start by deploying a Splunk HTTP Event Collector, or HEC. The HEC allows Splunk to receive logs via HTTP. The HTTP protocol ensures reliability and security. Now that the HEC deployment is complete, a unique authorization token is generated. This token is used to ensure that only authorized apps are allowed to push logs into the HTTP endpoint. Configuring Zscaler to send logs over HTTP is easy. Start by entering the unique URL for your Splunk Cloud instance. The authorization token is sent as part of the HTTP header. We will paste it here. The log message is sent in a JSON format. The field names are CIM formatted and ready to be used once it gets ingested. OK, you're done. Let's test the connection. And we're done. Zscaler logs are now sent to the Splunk Cloud. Zscaler has visibility into your internet and private and SaaS application traffic for your entire enterprise. Whether your employees are in the office, branch, or on the beach, Zscaler protects your entire workforce with no traffic hairpins, backhauls, or VPNs. With Zscaler, your users are protected as they go directly to the cloud resources they need. With Zscaler and Splunk, you get protection and visibility across your enterprise. The Zscaler app for Splunk provides pre-built dashboards and searches so that your team can quickly see what's happening in your environment. The Zscaler app has many views depending on what you're looking for. The Zscaler overview page gives you a top-level view of traffic distribution, usage over time, and threats blocked. Using the window widget, it's possible to zoom in or out to different time windows. With Zscaler's high-resolution telemetry, the top 10 view identifies the top users, locations, and URLs they visited. The Web Overview page gives visibility into web usage across the enterprise. In this screen, we can identify the top cloud apps, URL categories, locations, and users. The Web Access Controls page provides visibility into enforcement policies. From here, you can see the top categories causing your traffic to be blocked. It's possible to drill down to the user level. The Security Overview page provides visibility into the security posture. From here, you can identify the top users and locations seeing threats and the categories of these threats. You can also get a view of Cloud Sandbox activity. With the Threat Insights dashboard, you can drill deeper into the threat seen and stopped by Zscaler. Because Zscaler can inspect SSL encrypted traffic at scale, you can quickly see the threats hiding behind SSL. Although Zscaler blocks threats, keeping your users safe, it's useful to identify users at risk to drive positive change. The Administrative Audit page displays changes made by admin users. These changes are not available in the logs. The Splunk app makes API calls to Zscaler to populate this within Splunk users. And that's a quick walkthrough of the Zscaler app for Splunk. Zscaler and Splunk, bringing policy enforcement and visibility for the enterprise.